We are using Visual Studio Code for this tutorial. Please make sure that your Visual Studio is updated. You can check it from here, check for updates. And uh, also, I'm going to use some of these extensions, which I've already installed. Angular snippets, other rename tag. Some of them are optional, but I uh, suggest uh, bracket per colorizer two and let's see CSS peak HTML CSS support HTML to CSS auto completion and Visual Studio IntelliCode by Microsoft and VS Code icons uh, that's optional that's for these icons to be different see the the icons here each of them has their own icon if you don't install that one you are just gonna get the default icons not a big deal and that's all this item is also optional you can go to settings and just search for on save okay make sure this check mark is checked basically it formats your code whenever you save your file that's it all right let's continue here uh, we are going to create a new project here I want to show you here we are gonna install needed materials for the project following these instructions for this project I'm using angular material I'm not using bootstrap so everything is purely angular I'm assuming you have installed this node.js to get npm or you can install yarn I use yarn it works smoother than npm I like it much better so let's go ahead and take care of those here you can download install node.js from this link you go here and you download you get your for your machine you probably know already all of those and yarn as well here uh, you can download it from this page for your uh, machine based on your operating system with node.js you get npm by default okay once you install the yarn you need to install it in your project as well so let me clear the here okay Inst uh, uh, yarn install if you don't do this this application this uh, basically yarn won't be installed in your project right now it is installed in your machine but, but it should be also installed in your project. It seems I've already installed it before. I got this already up to date, but for you, it's gonna go through and it's gonna install it. And then after that, you're gonna go ahead and install Angular CLI. Uh, you can, if you're using Node, you're gonna use this command, or if you want to install it using Yarn, use this command. So the difference is just the add. All right, let's continue. I want to install my project. I mean, I want to create a new project, Angular project in this folder. So I'm going to copy this address and let's go ahead and change directory to that address. Hit enter, I'm there now. I'm assuming at this step that you have already installed Angular CLI because if you don't have the Angular CLI, this ng command doesn't work. ng command belongs to Angular CLI. So ng new and let's call it ng new and let's call it Firebase project for now. Hit enter. We need to answer some questions first. Would you like to add Angular routing? Yes. Uh, which style CSS you want to use? Uh, style sheet, I say CSS. Now it's going to install. And uh, let's see what we'll have here. All right. At the end, it says successfully initialize get. Let me actually, we can bring it here and we get our files. 
we have these files, we have this folder for our node modules, uh, JavaScript packages we install, it goes into node modules, and our source is here, our app is here, which we are going to have our application installed here. The next step is to install Angular material. Angular already has this Angular ng. You can use it to install Angular material. Okay, now let's copy this and paste it there in the terminal. So ng add Angular material. Okay, it says, would you like to share anonymous usage? For now, I say yes. Let's help them. There are some suggestions here, some uh, themes. I'm going to use the first one for this project. And set up global angular material topography styles, I say yes. Browser animations, I say yes. Okay, everything is good. Now let's go ahead and this is a very critical item here because uh, it's really needed. You need to go into this package.json under scripts. You basically need to add this line of code otherwise you're gonna get some errors sometimes at least in my experience. So let's go into our package.json control P package.json and under scripts here I'm gonna add one more item that's it and I can close that control W closes a tab continue okay now let's install our firebase ng add angular forward slash fire okay uh, actually there should be space here there we go right yeah there should be space I don't know for some reason okay as you see angular is supporting everything here you don't need to add these like for example firebase from outside sources angular is now supporting everything here for us all right packages installed successfully and now Please select a project. Well, here I'm logged in to my Firebase account here already. For you, it's going to ask you for your Google credentials, Google username and password. Once you enter your username and password and sign in, then you're going to get your project here. So what project I'm seeing here is the project that I set up, right? I created a project called Angular and then I have this project inside a 247 calling that one and I say yes I just hit enter and it says okay firebase.json was created for me and as well as this file and angular.json was updated my firebase.json is here right it was created for me it has written all this file by itself we used to write this code manually before but now angular is taking care of everything for us and also angular.json was modified all right now the next step is to go ahead and here go to your project settings and here go down here this config and you want to get this code okay only this part let's go ahead and we are going to add a new property here and then add the code here basically it's an object let's go ahead and do that so I'm going to look for my environment prod because this one is for your test and this one is the production mode, right? We want this one because we want to upload our project only in case that it is built in production mode, okay? So here I'm going to add another one and I'm going to say Firebase and 
I just add those codes there. Now my lint is saying I shouldn't have quotation marks here. I can get this should be fixed to that. Let's fix all of them. All right, perfect. Now they are all in good format. Now you save it. The next step is to go ahead in your app module and import these libraries. So Angular Fire module, Angular Fire Auth module, and Angular Fire database module from these libraries. I'm going to copy them and I'm going to my app module. All right, let's import them below this. Now I have them all here. Now we need to import them, right? Okay, so let's import them. For this one, Angular Fire module, you should also initialize app environment Firebase because we are getting it from our environment.firebase and also you want to import these two classes. I'm going to copy and paste those just to save some time and this one is not resolved let's import that uh, environment from our prod okay that's very important do not import the the other one we don't have it there just import it from the prod okay now everything is resolved here i'm getting this error okay now if you want to upload a project use this code this firebase use add to connect our application to our Firebase project. So I'm going to copy this and in my terminal, I'm gonna do this, Firebase use dash dash add, hit enter. It's going to add my application to my Firebase project. Okay, and it says, which project do you want to add? I say that project, Angular 240.27, 27 which is here, this is my project ID. Now, because I have only one project, it's asking if I want to add my application to this project, and I say yes. What alias do you want to use for this project? Firebase project. And let's see. All right, so everything is now set. If you have any error or something, you can use this command, Firebase use clear project, and then use the name of your project. Then it's gonna help you in new versions of angular and firebase you don't need to perform the init anymore and you don't need to write those codes in your firebase json manually anymore so that's all taken care of right now if i go ng version let's see what i have so far see I've had these ones before, but now I have animations, all these items, and also I have Angular Fire, which is this version, Angular Material, this version, and also I have RxJS now, which is this version. We are gonna use it later, and TypeScript was there. If you had these already installed, you can update them. And it's recommended to update all of those before you go further. If for any reason you get any errors, you can do it manually with this. And don't forget to add this dash dash allow dash dirty space dash dash force. So you force it to go through. But for now, I'm going to use ng update because I don't believe I'm going to have any errors. And let's see. Okay, it seems my Angular CLI, there is a new update for it. Everything is updated. All right, once everything is installed, now you can do run this yarn audit to see if there is any issue with your packages. Or you can also yarn upgrade to update JavaScript packages. Now I'm going to go ahead and do yarn audit to see if there is any issues there are some as of now these are the firebase issues i haven't found any uh solutions for them myself so but in the in newer updates probably those things are gonna get fixed also the other one is yarn upgrade maybe 
if we perform a yarn upgrade it resolves some of those issues if the packages are updated if you compare yarn with npm it's much faster running all these operations okay it's all good in 80 seconds 